Hey guys, welcome to another Linux Tech Tips and Tricks video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you um, fail to ban. Um, it's actually a nice Linux package that you could install on your Linux box. And I personally use it for um, for all my public publicly SSH available servers um, because it's kind of a nice service to run. Um, because say for example, you you know don't want people to like brute force or bots to just kind of brute force any any attempts on your server trying to get authentication, like just try root and like you know dictionary passwords and stuff like that. This this program kind of allows you to kind of deter that by essentially setting expectations where you can set a certain duration of failed attempts and a max number of failed attempts. And if those two hit, essentially it will blacklist the IP so it won't allow any traffic from that IP coming in um, and for a certain whatever duration you set. So essentially, if a bot is like scanning your network trying to brute force your SSH, it will essentially block it and then it should essentially time out and you pretty much save yourself. Now, this can also be a bad thing too, because say for example, you're trying to log in, you forget the password, type the password in too many wrong, <laughs> incorrect too many times, and you might lock yourself out. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, there's pros and cons of security, obviously. Pros, you block, you know, unwanted stuff. Cons, you might lock yourself out for a few minutes if, if you type it in incorrect too many times. But for the most part, it's better to be a little bit more secure than not secure enough, right? So this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy the content, want to sponsor me, or send me some free swag or hardware for my home lab series, let me know. My email is in the description below. So, okay, let's get started. Let's show you guys some demoing and how you can set this up. So first off, you got to log into the server that, that you want. Um, to install it on. Uh, so in this case, we will do our CA server that we configured. So we'll log in uh, and have to type the password in, right? <laughs> and then we will install the Apple release package. This is essentially another, this is just installing another repo that contains a lot of other packages that are more like um, public packages that aren't specifically tailored to the base uh, package repository. So I probably have it installed, so it sees there's nothing it needs to do. So then we'll install fail to ban. And actually it's fail to ban, which is kind of funny. Um, so now we see that that, have, that has installed. Um, then we will <coughs> copy the fail to ban jail configuration and name it um, jail.conf. Uh, jail, jail local. Sorry, um, you don't want the you don't want to edit the jail.conf because that essentially is the base conf, um, and you don't want to be editing that because on upgrades and stuff like that, it will overwrite essentially. So you want to copy that and edit your jail.local. local. So now we can edit the jail.local. local. And you can see that there's a decent amount of stuff actually in here. What we're going to focus on is the SSHD section. So SSHD. Um, so this section, and you can see it's coming in and out. Um, we will actually have a few things here. So the first thing is we need to enable it. So if it's not enabled, it won't work, obviously. So enabled, set that to true. Um, we will also set the action to be IP tables multiport. Um, this will essentially just do, uh, this was just a block via IP tables. Um, we're going to leave the log path and back end the same. We will set max retries to three. Retry equals three, but you can set this to be whatever number you want. We all set the find time to be like 30 seconds. So in, in, in other words, if in the last 30 seconds it failed three times, um, then it will ban that IP. So, and we'll do the ban time to be also 30 seconds. Um, this is just for demo purposes so that I can show you that it will auto unban. Um, but in the case that you actually need, in the case you want to actually set this up, I would recommend doing like a ban time of like five or like 10 minutes. Um, and, and these are all in seconds, so it'd be like 300 seconds or 600 seconds if you decide five or 10 minutes. So, uh, but this is just for this purpose for this demo, essentially. And then we will uh, enable fail to ban, so it runs on boot, and then we will uh, restart fail to ban. So now we just see when we do a status fail to ban that it is running. 
Um, from here, we can tail the logs in var log fail to ban dot log. Um, so you can see that the GL SSHD has started. So what we'll do here is attempt to log in. Um, in here. Oh, ah. Uh, okay. So because this is this is I, I set up a key base. I have I'm I'm gonna log into um something else that <laughs> so that doesn't have a key and would prompt for the password. Okay. SSH C local. Oh come on. Doesn't doesn't have my uh. It's okay. Um, give me one second. We can just do it by IP. Uh, one thirty-four. Okay. One two thirty-four. Okay, so we will fail logging in. So you can see it found it found one fail. Found another fail. And found the third fail. So now it, it banned my IP so of Nextcloud. So if I, it, it, I can tell you it is on 136. <laughs> um, but so now if I were to SSH again, it essentially blocked any connection to port 22 um, from this. So I, I won't be able to connect via this server anymore, but I should still be able to connect from a different server. So I can show you here that I can still connect to the CA server, so it only blocked this IP. So now you can see, after 30 seconds, it unbans the IP. So now, because that has passed, I should, I'm should i now able to log in because I am not banned anymore. Um, the uh, one other neat thing to that you, you can do in case you do run into a situation where you accidentally ban yourself, you can actually unban yourself um, directly and let me actually log in so I can show you the command. Um, we'll put it up here. Root at C local. And let me fail this login a few times. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay, so uh, it banned it again. So you can see that we got banned again. Um, so this is going to fail, fail connecting. And then here, you can actually unban it manually. Um, so fail to ban client set sshd unban ip 192.168.1.136. So you can manually unban it. So you can see now that it's unbanned and I can reconnect to. So in the case that you accidentally ban yourself for like 10 minutes, but you have access to the server, you can unban it and you can get access back again. So, but this is a very good way to just a very easy way to just set up just a little bit of way to deter brute forcing on your server so that you can protect yourself from people trying to brute force bots or any other random stuff that is out there people that are like script kitties or anything else so that's pretty much it so hopefully you learned some stuff gonna install fair to be on your server now and yeah so if you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video bye